am going to start some assembly here. And there we go. Let's put some CA glue here. There. Now I've drilled a hole here, so I'll be able to feed a wire up into here. Or not a wire, but a, a, a little stick. There we go. Um, there. There. Nice. So you can see the stick inside there. So once this gets filled up with putty, I'll be okay. It's gonna sit into the into the uh, the the plaque, the stand. All right. So next, I'm gonna apply some glue on the other leg here. I took the brass stick out of the other leg. Hmm. Yeah. So what we want to do? Yeah. Just to make sure that the legs are going to be aligned. All right. Because it would suck to have this all cemented and plastered up and it doesn't work right. So I think I should do it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I need to put stuff around here. There. Hmm. So the next part is to fill the legs with plaster, okay? Now, I've kind of done a rough, just a quick assembly here. As you can see, this is not attached, okay? This body cavity will remain hollow, okay? I'm just going to fill these up with, with plaster here, okay? So this is Tomix 8141 plaster, and this is you know more, mostly for uh, model railroading, but plaster is plaster. And uh, sure, let's make sure this stays. There we go. Okay. I haven't used this in a very long time. I got this measuring cup at a 100 yen shop. I decided to have my own dedicated measuring cup so that I don't make my wife mad. And not making one's wife mad is essential to enjoying the hobby. Alright, so let's just put a whole bunch of plaster in here. I'm going to be doing this for all three figures at the same time. So that really is. 
this R2 is going to be one solid build. If this is the ability Okay, I got this uh, stir stick from a coffee at the convenience store. Slowly mix this all up. So that is the complete parts of our issue line. And let's move on to the next issue. Now these are the parts. Mm. Unfortunately, this is because it's a bendy straw. This is uh, it's kind of bends. Or not bendy straw, a bendy spoon. I guess it's okay. This is okay. Okay. I guess this is um, the proper consistency. Just kind of like a milkshake, I guess. So. Just slowly. So I want to make sure it goes through that narrow hole in the bottom of the, you know, where the leg meets the, the, the foot. Make sure it gets through there just fine. This piece right here goes right there on the underside. There we go. Now I'm also going to fill in this leg here too. Actually, I need to figure out how I'm going to have this uh, held up somehow. Well, let me point out that this is the reverse of what you did on top. On the top, the uh, parts that's on top, and you put the screw Okay. Okay, I've come up with an idea. Actually, my wife had this idea. What I can do is just clip the leg here onto this laundry clip. Alright. Now I'll keep it. Bitcoin and you. Why you should be using the only truly free currency. Greetings, financial wizards, industry leaders, and curious operators, and welcome to the future. Yes, we're living in a high-tech cyber world where just about everything is digital. The cinema is so, digital, radio is digital. Gaps here to fill in. So then, why, with the whole world going digital, are we still using dirty, crazy, non-digital government money? That dollar bill in your pocket? A Nazi probably touched that right after jerking off. Deposit that dollar in your bank account? It's still floating out there in the world somewhere. Your dollar covered Nazi boner germs. Luckily, the world of tomorrow has finally become today. So there's another way okay. to spend and save money without the involvement Two parts. of the government or the Nazis. Bitcoin is that way. Created in 2009 by a mysterious programmer only known by an anonymous pseudonym, Bitcoin is a purely digital currency that uses complicated cryptographic science to generate lots of super hard math problems. These math problems are converted by computers around the world into seemingly random strings of numbers that some people have agreed to pretend stands for a highly volatile potential sum of money. Solving these math problems is called mining, and you can do it right at home on your very own personal computer, although the electrical cost of calculating one Bitcoin could actually be higher than the value of that Bitcoin. But don't worry, the Bitcoin market is bubbling up rapidly as you'll be making a healthy profit in some unknown amount of time. You see, Bitcoins aren't backed by any real world right. items such as gold or by a governing body like the Federal Reserve. So the value of a Bitcoin is entirely bubble based. But what a bubble it can be. Without the nuisance right. of regulation or real world value, a single Bitcoin could be yeah, made too much. from negative infinity to infinity billions of dollars. I imagine if it reaches even half of that, Just keep my fingers with a Bitcoin. Well, it's true nice and has meant that a substantial part of wet. the Bitcoin market has been used for heroin, methamphetamines, child pornography, and assassination contracts. But you can also spend your Bitcoins on gambling sites and Holiday Inn Express Brooklyn, where you'll get a complimentary buffet breakfast. Yum. So whether you're a libertarian or just want to spend your money like one, consider converting your wallet to a Bitcoin wallet. Who knows how much it'll be worth tomorrow? It could be anything. I still don't get it at all. Someone has a zillion Bitcoins and is using those Bitcoins to buy the United States from China. Ah, okay. uh, good summary, Chief. I need you to find out who and stop them right now. Shouldn't this be like a federal issue? I'm not even 100% sure I'm a real cop. America is counting on you, Alright. Well, whatever, I'll take the case. Oh, thank goodness. I was on the edge of my seat. 
Uh, by the way, uh, happy birthday, Chief. Oh, my God, you remember? Of course, Chief. I even baked you a big chocolate cake. That's my favorite. Chocolate is my favorite. I ate a piece already. I guess I'll just, like, mail the rest to you. You're the only one who ever remembers. Even my kids don't bother calling. If you want to track down a criminal, <laughs> sometimes the best place to start is with another criminal. So I'm checking in on an old friend, a baby. A criminal baby. Last time we talked, I beat All a right. large boot. I savagely beat a baby with a boot. I guess we're not really friends. Hello? Hello, is there a baby in here? This is the police. Whoop, whoop. Get on the floor. Uh, uh, hello? I know there's a goddamn oh. baby somewhere here. Come on. All right. So I'm just uh, using my wet thumb here and uh, wiping away the excess I don't want because that's why you call it excess. It's because it's excessive. That means it's not necessary and therefore you wipe it off with the wet finger. So if there's anything excessive in your life, just get your fingers wet and start wiping it away. Um, I imagine this might look okay, I suppose, maybe, I, I guess. Um, yeah, at least it's not like that gaping hole anymore. So I'm going to have to do the same thing over here too, but you know, this leg is not that bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to make this like really thin here. Just wrap this around. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep keep going through here, this whole thing here. And then um, this extra stuff, I'm, I'm, this is not gonna go to waste, so don't worry about that. Not that you would, because you probably don't. Alright, I got. I made some more. I'm just gonna fill all this in here, just like so. Okay. Now, what I need to do actually is make some more. I'm going to attempt what is called a squish fit, where I squish these together, and, um, and then when it dries, pull it apart. So to do that, what I need to do is cover this with some Vaseline here. And I just happen to have some that I use to, you know, lubricate my uh, airbrush. And, uh... I don't know what else you could use this for. I mean, it's pretty gross. Um, you know what they always said when we were kids, and um, that actually that, that's pretty gross too because it feels nasty. So I would not recommend doing that. Um, but I would recommend, hopefully, after I'm done with this, you know, putting this together and then popping it apart, and then you got like perfectly uh, shaped things. Because as you can see here, like there's a crack. And, you know, I, I want that to fill in more betterly, okay? So, my hands are sticky and gross. I need to make some more. Um, this is trash. I use this all up. 
And it's gonna need some more here. Alright, so. What is the lesson? There are teeth all over the place. An important lesson, I'm sure. Here is another word. Alright, so I'm just gonna just smear this crap all over. Is it? And Yes. Stuff. That's cool. Do you understand the lesson? And not really. There are elephants all over the place. Um yeah, I might just use my finger. The next pillar of the yeah. American culture will be presented. Alright. Hey Yvonne, I like your festive winter outfit. And make sure to get it on this little Is stick here, too. Ah, uh, jeez. You see that? That's Santa Claus. I killed him. You killed Santa Claus? I strangled him, and then beat him with sticks. Okay. His body has been rotting for two days. It will continue to rot until scavengers pick it apart. Is there a lesson here? Santa Claus is a bastard. That's lesson one. Santa Claus is no good. Got it. Lesson two. Don't okay. fall with Yvonne. I will definitely not. Lesson three. <laughs> die. I see. No, you don't, but I see. I see more than you would like. Can we move on to the next All bird? right. Fly, tiny bird, fly. This is Linda, who will show you the fourth pillar of Native American culture, jewelry. Awesome. Hey, Linda. Hello. I present to you a very traditional Native American necklace. Okay, it's, uh, so it's made I have way more than I need. Like garbage. Oh. There might be some bones in there and sticks. Interesting design. The tangled strings represents the tangled nature of our lives, and the garbage represents how we are all garbage. We're all garbage. Yes, now you understand. I really super don't think I do. Your modesty shows that you fully understand and comprehend my lessons. Ah, uh, cool. I did it. You are truly a kindred spirit. I would like you okay. to have something that is very important to me. I've never done this before, but uh, my friend explained this. Please keep it and wear it every day forever. I'm probably just going to take it off right away. Here is Rita, okay. who will teach you the fifth pillar, knots. Hey Rita, I'm ready to learn about knots. Knots are an extremely important part of Native American culture. They have been for millions of years. Oh, look golly. Apparently I didn't have enough. Uh, they do look super tangled. That one right there is called a tiger knot. It represents how cool tigers uh, are. How do you tie one? It just sort of happens once you let a tiger into uh, your I guess heart. it's okay. I don't think I've done that. This one is called a lasagna knot. It represents how cool lasagna is. I have definitely let lasagna into my heart. It is a forbidden knot. What? Why? Rita, we do not talk of such things. He has to learn at some point, Debra. Is there something wrong with lasagna? You know too much already. I don't think Shoot. I do. The next knot, Rita. Of course, Debbie. This is a coffee knot. Rita, it is also forbidden. How many forbidden knots did you tie? In my hands, I hold the napping knot. This is unacceptable, Rita. I hope I'm doing this right. Forbidden of all knots. Wait a minute. These are all things Garfield likes. Congratulations, you have solved the knot riddle. God damn it, Garfield still exists. He has hated Mondays for millions of years. Elsa shall present the okay. Of okay, so here is the squish fit after it's been dried, and I'm able to take it apart. So the Vaseline protected the surface here from the the resin sticking to it, but I'm not really satisfied with how this goes. I'm gonna talk with my friend tomorrow morning. And uh, get some ideas from him because he's the one that taught me about this this technique. So the front part looks pretty nice, but I want to make sure her butt looks nice. So like I think this needs to take off here. It's slightly not set all the way, but it's firm enough to take apart. So there you go. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good place to end this video. So. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to talk with my friend about doing, uh, how to do this, maybe, uh, do it with him on, uh, Google Hangouts or something, because this is not quite as good as a job as I was hoping I could manage. Like, actually, this looks like crap here, and I'm going to just cut it off, because I don't like it. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here, upload this. People who have worked on these videos or these these um, uh, these these models like this, please let me know what are your strategies. How do you do this? And am I doing this right? What should I do differently? Or is it just practice makes perfect? Let me know in the comments. And this will be the end of this video for now. So I look forward to. 
those comments. And